So I decided to take this upon myself, become test subject number one as always. And today's video is going to be life changing for many of you. I guarantee you. All right. Friends and family, welcome back to another episode of Healing Together. My name is Adam. I go by Coach Hard Gains. I've been coaching bodybuilders and recovering addicts for well over 20 years. I've developed a systematic approach to replacing someone's DOC, drug of choice, with a new addiction to dopamine while chasing goals with either bodybuilding, exercise, training, just something that is goal-oriented that replaces an individual's focus on the doses every day of chasing the high or chasing the buzz to now chasing a goal, chasing your dopamine. This has worked for hundreds of people at this point, but it has also worked for myself. I am my number one test subject. That also leads to today's video. Today's video is part two in Kratom and Anxiety. The first video I've made you can find here and it's just the basics of discussing Kratom and Anxiety. How many of us use Kratom to battle anxiety, but on the other hand, while many of us past the five year point of Kratom consumption are dealing with Kratom induced anxiety, which is way worse than the anxiety you felt before Kratom. I'm telling you the truth. The anxiety that comes on after the five-year point for many of us through Kratom consumption, because of Kratom consumption, is more like panic. It's more an onset of panic attacks. It's not just anxiety. It is a moment of absolute panic. And I have had so many people come to me after video one, after the Kratom and Anxiety video, discussing the anxiety that they're feeling because of Kratom. And so that led me to want to get to the bottom of this. And so many people have asked me, what is causing this? Why am I getting this? What's going on? Many people actually have gone to their doctors and their doctors could not help them. So I decided to take this upon myself, become test subject number one as always, and get to the bottom of it. And today's video is going to be life changing for many of you, I guarantee you. All right, so let's get into it. Now remember, anxiety that you have felt before the use of Kratom, then utilizing Kratom to battle that anxiety is very different than Kratom induced anxiety, which typically comes on after the five year point of Kratom consumption. When we take Kratom, okay? It's just like when we take any other drug or opioid. It affects our neurotransmitters heavily, right? We get a nice big hit of dopamine, huge hit of serotonin. We're feeling good. We're feeling happy. We're feeling just uplifted, okay? But when that wears off, we start to go down. We start to feel a little bit down. We start to lose those feelings. But the dopamine and the serotonin, they're kind of like going like this. It's dropping but peaking, dropping, peaking, dropping up. It's not consistent, especially if you've been taking Kratom for a long period of time, like I have, which is now over eight and a half years daily use. So what happens on that drop is our neurotransmitters are kind of all over the place and they are going to be starting to battle with one another with our feelings. And so some people take 5-HTP, some people take GABA. We've talked about tryptophan. A lot of people are taking the natural precursors to these neurotransmitters, hoping that that's going to help uplift them. But that's not enough. And so we start dropping and dropping and now we hit this panic and people get these anxiety feelings, these PM anxiety, PM panic, and it is terrible. And I know many people who have started taking benzodiazepines for that, taking the Ativan, taking a Valium, taking a Xanax, and now developing a dependency on those to battle the onset of Kratom induced anxiety. That's no good guys. So unfortunately, blood work tells us a lot, but it can't tell us neurotransmitter function in the brain. Okay, even a catecholamine blood test cannot tell us what's going on with our neurotransmitters in the brain. 
But what can is how we respond to other medications. So I went to my doctor and I decided to run a test. I do not advise any of you to do this. Okay, this is only because I know my body, know myself, and quote unquote know what I'm doing a little bit. But remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm a coach. Okay, this is not medical advice. I decided to try three different things. An SSRI, an SNRI, and an anxiolytic. Those are three anti-anxiety medications that work in different ways but similar function. But they are different in what they approach. Now first, the SSRI that I decided to try is Zoloft. That is one of the most common. I will also tell you that I have not typically relied on any type of anti-anxiety, anti-depression, uh, any type of medications before. I have experience with benzos for various, but I never really needed to go on anti-anxieties. So I decided to try three of the most popular medications for a specific reason, because I figured these are also medications that a lot of people are taking and trying to replace with Kratom. This is not necessarily a good thing, guys, because a lot of people are also taking both the medication and Kratom. Now, as a coach, I never, ever promote something that I do not know personally all about. So this, to me, was a very specific test that I wanted to do. So the SSRI that I tried is Zoloft, okay? The SNRI that I tried is Cymbalta, or Duloxetine. And the Anxiolytic, which is a little bit different than the other two, is Buspar, or Buspirone. Now that's kind of a different medication because not all doctors prescribe that, and I believe there's some new reasons why they're gonna be eventually taking it off the market. Now, I figured that these three medications would work for me pretty quickly because I've never taken them before. So I'm getting this Kratom-induced PM anxiety nearly every night, and I'm relying on an Ativan to battle that. Which again, guys, the only withdrawal worse than Kratom that I've ever experienced is benzo withdrawal. So I don't advise you to take benzos with Kratom in any way, shape, or form. If you are taking Kratom, you want to be taking nothing else, including no alcohol. No alcohol. Because when you start taking too many things that affect your dopamine, serotonin, your neurotransmitters, you do run the risk of just developing a pretty fucked up situation in your brain. And it can develop into depression, anxiety, panic, and suicidal thoughts. So please be very careful, okay? But what is worse is that you can also run the risk of developing serotonin syndrome, which is even worse. But that's for a later video. All right, so now I've got my three different medications. I'm going to try this experiment, right? I decided to take a week with each to see how I reacted. Now, I understand that many of these medications take a few weeks to get into the system and to actually perform their functions properly and fully. But again, because I've never taken them before, I knew that I would respond to them pretty quickly. Now, I also started with low doses, but again, I want to repeat, I do not advise any of you to do this. I did this for you. I did this for my subscribers who are coming to me with this horrible anxiety because we have to get to the bottom of what is causing it. Okay, now again, this may not be universal for all of us, but let's look at Kratom's function. Kratom raises neurotransmitters. It raises the dopamine, the serotonin, the norepinephrine. Okay, those are the three main ones. Kratom then drops you. And that's why you want another dose, just like anything else you're taking. So then you take that other dose and you raise the neurotransmitters again. Now, what do SSRIs and SNRIs and anxiolytics to a certain degree do? Well, it's a reuptake inhibitor. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so we're on a roller coaster. So we go up and then we come down and then they get off. But the behavior of an addict is that we always constantly take more of the DOC 
the drug of choice before we get all the way down so that we can maintain that high. So we get up and if this is getting off the ride, we're on a roller coaster. The drug that we take takes us up and down. And typically someone without addictive behavior, they'll get down and then they'll get off the ride. Then they'll go on with their lives. Addicts go up and then before we get down to get off the ride, whoop, we get another hit. And then we go back up. And then before we get off the ride again, we get another hit and we go back up. So we're never getting off the ride. And there's so many dangers of never getting off the ride, guys. This is why we continue to raise our tolerance so that we need so much more to get the buzz, to get the hit, to get the high. So SSRIs, SNRIs, they inhibit the reuptake, okay? So it keeps the serotonin up. It keeps the dopamine up. It keeps those neurotransmitters up but what happens if you're taking those while you're abusing drugs let's just generalize it well that is a bad situation okay now again this is why i don't recommend what i did to any to any of you but i take my kratom doses and i get my pm anxiety and i typically take one tablespoon in the morning, afternoon, and night. And I stick with mostly reds because I use it for severe pain management. Zoloft. All right, now first we have Zoloft, which is also called sertraline. Sertraline, and this is a 50 milligram tablet once every day. Sertraline or Zoloft is an SSRI. SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. So Zoloft basically restores the balance of serotonin in the brain. It pretty much only functions on serotonin. That is what it's designed for. Now I tried Zoloft first. I did a week of Zoloft once a day while taking my Kratom for my pain management and it wasn't working. I still felt anxiety and I still felt panic. So what did that tell me? Told me that what I was experiencing was not serotonin based. Okay, so that was the SSRI. Next, the SNRI that I took is Cymbalta, also called Duloxetine, in a 30 milligram cap once every day. Now, Cymbalta is an SNRI, which is a serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. So this works a little differently. This works on serotonin and norepinephrine or noradrenaline. Now, noradrenaline is the fight or flight. That can cause a lot of anxiety. When I go in to take an MRI, I freak out. Since my brain injury, I freak out. I can't take it without a benzo or without something to combat that. So I thought to myself, well, if I'm getting that way, I really wonder if my issue, the anxiety and the panic that I experience at night is noradrenaline, norepinephrine. So Cymbalta started to work within a few days. So I continued to run that for the full week and it did start to make a difference. But I wanted to give myself the chance to also take the anxiolytic to see if it's functioning differently. So Cymbalta was doing a good job. Then I let that clear out of my system and I continued on with the experiment and I went to Buspirone, Buspar, which again, this is an anxiolytic. And an anxiolytic like this works on balancing dopamine and serotonin in the brain. So I thought, okay, well, this will kind of, this will show me if it's a dopamine issue. Okay, this did not work. The abuse bar didn't work. I still had the anxiety. I still had the PM panic attacks come on. So I knew it's not a dopamine and serotonin issue. So what did I do? I went back to the Cymbalta. The Cymbalta again, works on norepinephrine, noradrenaline. This works differently than the other ones. And I gotta tell you, this fixed my issue, okay? I continued with my normal Kratom dosage. And again, I have to warn you guys, please, 
I'm not advising you or telling you to, to mix anything. I am just trying to help you get to the bottom of what is causing your anxiety and your panic. If you're going to start an SSRI, an SNRI, or an anxiolytic, or an antidepressive, or anything, anything of that, that nature, please, I don't want you to take Kratom at the same time, okay? It can be very dangerous. But for me, I have to manage my pain. I'm in severe pain every day. My legs kill me, my back kills me, my brain injury hurts so much, it causes headaches, it causes nerve. I have so much nerve pain throughout my entire body. Since this car accident, the nerve pain is, is, is pretty severe. So I have backed off of my Kratom use, gotten to a comfortable place where I feel it is helping enough, but I don't feel like it's running or ruining my life. Okay, that's one of the main priorities that we focus on here. And the Cymbalta completely cut out the anxiety and the PM panic attacks. So now I know that my panic attacks, my PM kratom induced panic attacks were because of noradrenaline, norepinephrine. So I'm taking kratom and I'm going up and it's affecting my neurotransmitters and I'm coming down and Cymbalta keeps those those neurotransmitters up from it keeps them from getting off the ride okay so again this is kind of a dangerous place i i don't know how mo how many more ways i can tell you guys these are this is not a joke okay <sighs> so many people have overdosed accidentally so many people have gotten sick and permanently affected accidentally just by not <sighs> so that's the conclusion of that experiment and for me it was extremely helpful now i know what causes that pm anxiety it may be the same for you and it may be different for you because again we are all very different. So friends, that concludes this video. Remember, you can find me on Instagram at Coach Hard Gains with a Z, Team Hard Gains. And please, if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to both YouTube channels, Healing Together and Coach Hard Gains. And remember, for coaching and consultations, send an email to coachhardgains at gmail.com. My assistant will get back to you as she can because we are overrun with inquiries and so many of them are just thank you notes and so guys thank you so much for your support it it touches my heart every day and you know what it gets me through a lot of the difficulties that i'm going through but friends that's why we're healing together because you help me and hopefully i'm helping you so friends thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video